I've made videos at some pretty incredibly named football clubs down the years, from Gala Feridine Rovers in the borders of Scotland to Blythe Spartans in England, Caledonian Braves, a team that I haven't seen but I would love to, Inverurie Loco Works. There are some phenomenally named teams within Scotland specifically, but also the UK within, yeah, all the different football leagues up and down the country. What are some of your favourites? Drop them in the comments section below. But today I'm seeing one that I've never made a video about that I've been meaning to for so, so long. Please Please hit that like button please subscribe if you're new we are here in edinburgh believe it or not look at this who knew this was edinburgh oh he knew it was edinburgh he's in his hip shirt it's almost as if i set that up i bet that place is really really nice to grab a coffee or a hot dog or a wrap or a burger as it says on the sign when it's a nice day but it's a beautiful view that you get from here but it is freezing today here look edinburgh college grantham campus haymarket leaf all that way so haymarket is hearts isn't it that's near where hearts are leaf is obviously hips the two big edinburgh teams are that way i'm trying to block you from the wind a little bit um i'm taking you up to the stadium we're going to be going to today civil service strollers is the name of today's team what a name that is is there any better than that within scotland again let me know in the comment section below time to check out this brand new team on this freezing cold day here in the capital so i believe the civil service stroller stadium is around here somewhere look at world of football there is um, loads of five-a-side pitches here. World of football um, pitches one and two this way, three and ten this way. But I think the um, the stadium of the semi-pro team civil service strollers is just around here somewhere. Let's hope. Starting to see some uh, some of the badges. We're gonna have to uh, jump over this puddle here. We'll go around it. Look here we go. Civil service strollers FC, founded in 1908. What a name. I'm gonna ask a little bit about the name in just a second. Strictly players and officials past this point. There's another badge there at Muir House Playing Fields. Let's get round there. Keith Stewart, Club Secretary at Civil Service Strollers. And I introed this video saying that I've seen some teams within Scotland with some great names. Gala Ferry Dean Rovers is one of them that always comes to mind. Yourselves as well, Civil Service Strollers. Could you explain the name to everyone and sort of what it means? Civil Service Strollers it stems from the Civil Service, funnily enough. Um, years and years ago, there used to be the Civil Service team and they expanded it to include Civil Service Strollers mm -hmm. who went on to become the, the team. So it was originally just a team for people working civil service in the civil services. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. Well, it was up until the eighties, probably. Yeah. So what kind probably. of jobs would they have had in the community then? Oh, lots of different jobs. Lots of different jobs. I don't know what the civil service do have for them. But, but now it's not just civil service guys. It's just a football club for yeah, yeah. lads in yeah, the local. We, we try. We try to encourage the civil service still to be involved. We have a, a we have a hundred club, which is all civil service members. Yep. And we have a 100 club day, which this year will be against Berwick Rangers. Oh, cool. And we invite the 100 club guys down, try and promote the club again and try and get them interested in the club again. And I can see on the badge as well, founded in 1908, you're an old club. Yeah. And what is on the badge? Is that a quill and a it's pen? A quill, yeah. And what's that to signify? Is that to civil do with the old... Service, just to do with civil service, yeah. Sitting in their offices, writing yeah, uh, right, what yeah. they need to do, writing I guess. all the rubbish, yeah. <laughs> it comes out. But anyway, no, no. That, that's the basis of it. You were just saying you beat Rangers B this season. This season. season. And that there is Leon King, who started for Rangers at Anfield in the Champions League this year, and that's your lad scoring against me. Yeah. And so this is where all the fans would come pre and post game. What would you say? the biggest sort of travelling support you've seen in the Lowland League in the last couple of years? Our oh, travelling support would be Rangers, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely Rangers. Rangers. Anyway, yeah, although last season, Bonnerig. Bonnerig, yeah. Bonnerig, quite good uh, travelling support. Well, Kelly Hearts are not in the league now, but they, they had quite a big travelling yeah. support. Um, they're the main, the main ones. Um, that's really... you got a good Berwick, 
Yeah. Billy Rangers. There's some big teams, I guess, yeah. in the Lone League who bring some fans. So this is where it all goes on on a match day for the fan experience. And why should more fans come and watch a game here and see the strollers play? Because they're well looked after when they come here. And yeah, we do play decent football. Nice. <laughs> That's an added a, bonus. And it's a grass pitch. <laughs> oh, well. brilliant. Okay. Grass pitch. You don't see many of them these days in no. Scotland, yeah. So, uh, no, no, this is it. And then after the game, this is uh, where the players come in for their after match hospitality. Cool. Um, and we also offer quite a extensive hospitality packages for the games that include the pre, pre match and half time. Some of the older teams here, all these pictures, these would have been like civil service workers, then I take it. Most of them would be, yeah. I don't suppose you know what year they changed to just allow anyone to play, or? I don't know the exact year, no. But here in the 70s, you imagine they might have That's been? That's the last team that won the league. The last team that won, oh, the Eastern East Scotland, Scotland League. League, okay. That's them there. Look at them there as well. That's the, ball, hats. That's the dress with baller hats and yeah. umbrellas. Just, just a little bit different to what they turn up in today, to, I bet. To yeah. do the civil service thing. <laughs> and then here we go, 1922, look at that. Got a couple of trophies there. That's 10. 1910. 1910, wow. Won a couple of cups that year as well. Community Health Project. Yep. And uh, they came down and they got, we thought, right, we'll spray paint the porta cabins before the locals do it. So, <laughs> okay, they yeah. Down, they, they came down you thought and, someone's going to spray paint it anyway, so why not um, spray paint it like that? Oh, it looks good, yeah. So, we're now currently pitch side. Yeah. Um, seems like a really, really big pitch. You say it's grass as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you've got some training pitches behind for youth teams. Yeah. How are you getting on this season in the Lowland League, though? I think we're doing very, very well this season. Uh, We've got a good blend of experience and youth in the team. Uh, Gary's doing a really good job for, for his, uh, his lack of budget, so yep. to speak. Um, you know, we went back a little bit the last few games, but that's down to injuries yep. and suspensions. But these guys are all coming back now, so hopefully we'll pick up again. Kick on. And do you think it's an advantage or a disadvantage for you to be in Edinburgh? Obviously, you're in the central belt, so you can probably pick up players a little bit easier than teams that aren't in this area, but then you're competing against your Spartans, Edinburgh Cities, Hibs and Hearts as well for fans, I take it too. Yeah, but we do, we do find we've had a very good relationship with Hibs uh, for loan players for a while. Um, that's kind of drifted a little bit just now, but obviously the Hibs youth teams are doing quite well in, yep. in their European ties. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, we, yeah, Gary's got a lot of contacts, a lot of good contacts, and good. Uh, he does a good job of what he does. So we're, we're hoping we can hit the, the fourth spot that we need. And we've, um, and yeah, to get into the, uh, the League Cup, right, uh, yeah. for next season. And um, I've spoken a lot on my channel before about the promotion and the relegation in and out of the Lowland League. What are your thoughts on it and do you think maybe it could be opened up a little bit more? Yeah, definitely be opened up. I think there should be automatic relegation from League Two. Yep. Um, obviously we have playoffs, which we can't do much about at the moment, Lowland League versus Highland League, but the winner of that playoff should be automatically promoted. Yeah. Relegation. I think to have a proper pyramid system, you need proper relegation. Yeah, but I think a lot of people watching will probably echo those thoughts yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. no, definitely. We're one hundred percent behind that, um, and hopefully we don't get into the position where we get relegated. But yeah. listen, if it happens, it happens. But. Yep. Uh, yeah, 100% behind it. We need re proper relegation. Obviously, you'll all know Hibs Hearts in Edinburgh, Celtic and Rangers, obviously, and all the big teams that I've taken you to in England and across Europe too, but um, I really do enjoy filming these videos because it's somewhere that I've never seen before. When I come to these places, like maybe you haven't heard of these clubs before. I've heard of, obviously, the clubs that I go and make videos about. Um, however, coming to see new stadiums and they're always so unique as well. Every non-league stadium is different, whereas I feel like all the big stadiums they could all sort of be the same and interchangeable in a way um, and you know what them big teams are about but you may not know what the civil service strollers are about or like I say Gala Ferry Dean Rovers these amazingly named teams um, 
yeah it is always really fun to investigate these clubs have you ever been to see these guys play before if not um come along and watch a game maybe um i'm sure it's a great experience on a match day it's a bit cold today but um yeah i'm sure you'll be well looked after um by all the guys here at the clubs um yeah please do drop your team names in the comment section below the best named teams that you know of maybe there's ones that i haven't covered before um that you think i should do please do hit that like button as well please also subscribe if you're new i'm off home to edit this video or at least some videos on screen if you could click on one to carry on watching that'd be amazing cheers and i'll see you in the next one